Episode 203, Zodiac Killer Case, Paul Duer, Part 3. I created a little timeline here. So this is Gloria's senior picture. And so that school year would have been September 1968 to June 1969. So during that school year, Gloria and Paul had a fight. And I believe Gloria moved out of the house and left. And that was sometime around December. And then you had the murders of David and Betty. And then after Gloria's graduation, then there was the murder on July 4th, 1969. Then Gloria moved to San Francisco and then you had the murders or the murder of Cecilia Shepard at Lake Berryessa. Then in San Francisco on October 11th, you had the murder of Paul Stein. So you can see it's all around the time that Gloria moved out of the house when all these murders took place. Now the next thing that I want to mention is about guns because all those murders occurred with different weapons. So Paul was accustomed to using the one ads. And so here in 1963, he put this one ad for a sailboat. And back in uh, Pennsylvania, he put this ad in for a gun. He wanted to give up his hobby magazines and get a gun. And then you can see this ad in California, or Northern California, Paul wanted either some artifacts, stamps, or guns. And so he had these Brazilian optical quartz crystals that he could give up. And he wanted to obtain a gun or stamps or something. And then in this last ad from 1978, he wanted to give up a yacht that he owned and get some land in Santa Cruz, California. Now, Gloria eventually graduated from college in Santa Cruz. So he was looking for land there. And here's a picture of a two-keel yacht. And this is not his or I don't, I don't know a lot about boats, but just to give you an idea what he wanted to trade away and obtain some land. Next, I wanted to point out three things on this photo that we have. First, the shoe. Here, hopefully you can see the shoelaces. It's still hard to see, but there's the shoelaces there that look like the sketch from the Zodiac Killer at Lake Berryessa. And then next, you have the knife. And so here's a look at the knife, close-up view of that. And I don't know if this is the same knife because Brian Hartnell said it looked handmade, homemade. And then this last one here is, I don't know if this is a shadow or what this is on his chest, but that, I don't know, it's a shadow going across and a line going down, but it drew my interest because it kind of looks like the, some kind of symbol. So kind of like the Zodiac, you know, a different one. Okay, and last but not least, I thought I'd put this up there again so you can see more what I'm talking about and then that's it and finally I found this picture of an older Paul and before I showed you the younger Paul on the left and so here's a side-by-side -side comparison 
and hopefully you see some similarities because it's the same guy. But if you look, you can still see that scar or indentation above his nose, closer to his left eye. And then you can see his cheeks have the same kind of indentation or uh, wrinkle on each side. And of course you can see kind of his oval shaped head. <laughs> Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved, and I wasn't able to find as much information as I thought I was going to be able to. So I'll keep looking. So I'll see you next weekend. See ya. <laughs>